Right, welcome back. Uh, graphic settings for War Thunder. This is my AMD control panel thing. Uh, so graphic settings 2024. I'm going to do another video with um, called how I create videos or something, video editing. So I'll, I'll in that video, I'll explain OBS settings and things. But in this one, it's just the graphic settings for War Thunder. Um, there are some things that I change in here, but there's, there's not a lot. Image sharpening is... Um, is at eighty percent by standard, and it, it, it's a game changer for me, really. If I don't have this on, all the enemy planes in the distance are, are, are dots, and they're really blurry, and they're merging with clouds and things, and it's quite hard to see them. But this, if you with this switched on, the enemy planes are just a really sharp pixel dot. Really, it yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, praise this enough. This one, um, I'm sure in video I've got something similar. But I always have that on. The default is 18. I've, I've just left it. All I did was turn it on. And the dots are a lot more defined. Target, frame rate, target control. I'll come back to that. Um, and then we've got a surface format optimization. You can read that. Um, yeah, so it uh, overrides the application to ch and choose a more optimal texture format. Um, and the tessellation mode is AMD optimized. That's the only things I've done. So the tag, frame rate tag and target control. So it's 144. I've got it enabled. Most games will look at this and they will, and this usually works for most games, but it doesn't work for War Thunder. So if we go here, so my monitor is a 144 hertz monitor. If I, if I switched it to 144, and then if I enabled FreeSync, uh, where are we in here? If I enabled, if I enabled FreeSync, which I've got it enabled anyway, um, and then turn Vertical Sync off in War Thunder, it still ignores this uh, 144 for some reason. I don't know why. So in War Thunder, I have my monitor set to 60 hertz. Uh, and in War Thunder, I, I have Vertical Sync on, which we'll show in later. So the game will lock at 60 hertz because it, it's really pointless recording anything higher in OBS because OBS records at 60 frames per second and I stream and send 60 frames when I'm streaming. There's, there's no point in me recording any more frames. Uh, OBS will record more frames. You can you can set it to, to, to record more frames, but it's just, you're, just, you're just wasting disk space at that time so that is always at 144 because some games most other games you can turn vertical sync off and this control panel will limit limit your frames to 144 and you'll have free sync going but um war thunder doesn't doesn't uh, work with this for some reason don't know why right we'll get into the game okay so we've still got the okay 205,000 people online. Wow. That must be, that must be close. 205,000. Wowzers. Okay, so go to graphics. So I'm fortunate to be able to play at 4K. Um, You know, I play at 4K. I'm sorry. And V-Sync is on. So V-Sync is on. So that will look at the Windows setting of a monitor, which is 60. And it'll just keep it at 60. That's why. That's why it says 60 down there, because it's at 60. Um, now, if I'd set my monitor to 144 with VSync on, it would probably limit it to 144. But if I turn VSync off and I try and rely on the AMD frame rate um, limiter, it doesn't work. So, yeah. So, yeah, VSync is on and Windows is set to 60 hertz. And that's what I record. It, it just it just makes it everything's more. It just makes it sensible, right? So custom. I don't even know what that is. So I don't have an NVIDIA. I've got an AMD card, so none of, none of this is on. Uh, this is at sixteen. Anisotropy. And this, I can't even say that. This is at sixteen. Um, I don't use anti-aliasing. Um, I never never used it. I just don't like it. It's a, it, it feels like it just goes all blurry. I just don't like it. I never use anti-aliasing. Um, everything seems to be a bit more sharper, especially the dots when 
because I don't know how anti aliasing works. I don't know if anti aliasing tries to sharpen everything on the screen or certain things, but I'm guessing the dots would look a bit more blurry if the game decides to anti alias little pixels. So, no anti aliasing. Um, this uh, this is a this is an up upscaling thing. Don't need it. That's not on. Uh, that's not on. Uh, texture quality is. I think everything is is the highest it can be. Everything. Um, so everything is max, 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 max. Uh, what? Well, yeah, everything's high. Uh, track tires. Oh, I can go to very high. Wow. But I hardly, oh, I hardly ever go on the ground. Uh, cockpit mirrors, yes. Object shadows, yes. Shadow on effects, yes. Uh, lens flare, I don't. Uh, that looks artificial to me. Lens flare, I don't use that. Um, well, then, then, yes. Yeah, so pretty much everything is maximum. Um, you can't change that because it's just it's not even switched on. So that yeah. So that's that. That's all there is. Um, so the post effect settings are the the most important things so uh what i'll do is i'll go into test flight and i'll show you i've done a video about this before but it needs updating so we'll go into test flight and i'll be back in a minute okay so let's uh i'm in test flight i'm in the m th no the f1321 um and i'm just gonna look at the clouds and i'm gonna press pause now if you go to options you get uh, post effect settings now by default the dynamic LUT is on and I, I just don't like this I always turn it off and by default uh, vignettes on for some reason turn that off so the first thing I do is I go to color correction it's always on contrast you can see this is, this is going and then I always have Reinhard that's what I usually start with and then I used to go with a bit of con uh, cockpit sharpness. If you look at the this the uh, the cockpit; it uh, brightens up a bit. So a little bit of cockpit sharpness, and then we'll leave it like that. I don't I don't know what TPS sharpness is. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so that's what I that's what I've been doing for the for the, for a while, and I I turn this down because well, if you turn it up too much. It gets all washed out, so I usually turn it off. And that's what I usually play with. So if we go back to this. Um, and then we close. This is what I usually play with. So let us see if we can spot these planes. Let's pause the game there. And then we go to options. Burst effects. So we can see this dot. We can see the dot. Now, if we go, to, is it polynoms? Is polynom here? Or is it in? It's in turn mapping, isn't it? I don't know what logarithmic is. Uh, I don't know what that does actually. But the, the polynom is there, and you get loads of loads of sliders, and I don't know what they do. Um, but I did do a video on this, and all I did was I looked at I looked at a tank on the ground. And fiddled with these these uh, these bars until the tank was more visible. Now I'm I'm just going to fiddle with this and see if that dot gets any better or any worse. So white four. We can lower this down. Does this do anything? I can't see anything. I wonder if that I wonder if that changes other things. So, yeah, so I don't know what these mean, but F is on 1. So remember that, 1. Is that going to change? Oh, yeah, so the, the sky gets darker, doesn't it? The sky gets darker, so it's a bit more contrast, I imagine. So this was... Okay. That could look a bit better. E. No, that that's... No. E. We won't, we won't do E. So D is 1.5. That gets a little bit... 
Yeah, it's a bit more contrast. Yeah, the, the sky needs to be kind of blue, doesn't it? But not too bad. Okay. Then what does C do? Yeah, C gets even more blue. Okay. So I'm basically just just uh, winging it. Does that make any difference? Does it make everything look a bit weird there? Uh... Makes the clouds look a bit weird, doesn't it? So I can see that the the dot is uh, obviously against the blue background. It, it looks a bit better, but uh, yeah, I can still see the dot. The sky looks nice, but the clouds look rubbish. So it swings and roundabouts. So let us. So yeah, basically, basically it's just trial and error. So if we pause the game here. Show post effect settings and we can look at the clouds. Now if I go back to Reinhard uh wrong button. If I go back to Reinhard Yeah, you can see these clouds, you can see what I've done. And if I go back to Polynom Yeah, so now does this white effect stuff now? Uh no it is zero is t yeah. Okay, oh that does, that does the cl okay. And does this do anything? No. Well, those clouds look a bit better. Yes, yeah, so I want the dark blue sky. Or, or not dark blue, just, just a blue sky and more defined clouds so you could you could spend all day doing this okay and then i can i can clearly see that uh, plane let us have a look If the explosions were a funny colour or not. Because that doesn't look too bad. I don't know, actually. Because with this polynom, the explosions might look a bit weird. So let's just see if... Uh, see if I can catch this. Because <sighs> the, the ground looks okay. Just the, the clouds have always looked a bit weird in War Thunder. They've always looked a bit washed out. The smoke looks alright. Yeah, that looks really nice. So, everything looks okay apart from the clouds. The clouds look a bit... Crusty. So if I go back to here, uh, options, first effects. Yes, uh, I don't know. It just looks a bit washed out. But um, if I go back to uh, Reinhard, the clouds look even. The clouds look even more washed out, don't they, sir? I think they I don't know. I might leave it like that. But as I said, that... I don't know. That might be... I don't know. That might be better. It's hard to tell. Right, I'll go and see if I can find a ground unit. See if that makes any difference to that as well. Okay, so I found something else. There's a there's a little... Just above the arrow there, there's a, there's a, there's a tank there. Um. So... Cockpit sharpness. So, I mean, instead of looking at planes, you could do this, and you can look at vehicles on the ground and do this as well. 
Uh, cockpit sharpness. Does that do anything? No, oh, it does. It does, actually. I don't know how well this turns up on, on YouTube, but... As I slide this, it the tank does get more blurry to the left. It gets a blurry to the left and it gets more defined to the right. So, but I had mine here. I think. So. Yeah, so you could fiddle with these looking at... Uh, at the tank. I'm not going to fiddle with them now because I think I've got them where, where I want them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I've I've done. Uh, if I close this and return to hangar. Yeah, so that's that then. That is that. And, uh, but um, yeah. That, uh, the polynom is obviously trial and error. So it's just... Um, and every everybody's screen is going to be different, so um, I think that's that's what I said in the in the previous video is that your screen's different to mine, so all the slides will be different. So yeah, full screen window, but it's still it's a full screen window, but you you still can't you used the you used to be able to move your move your mouse outside the window to other monitors, but it, it will it won't let you do that now for some reason. Um. Yeah, so that's that then. Everything's on max and I don't have any anti-aliasing. Um, that is that, I'm afraid. So the next video is, I'll be doing a video on how I record and edit and render and upload and that videos and things. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye-bye.